Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me on my Unreal Engine beginner tutorial that will show you how you can basically on a really simple level scale textures. So textures are things that you place over your static meshes like I'm going to do here in the case of this cube but textures usually come if especially if they're tiled in a range of scales. Sometimes you would like to have these bigger, sometimes you have to have something smaller depending on your project. So the most uh, simple explanation is to think of a wall or a object or anything like that that is created from individual blocks of some kind of a material, or let's say bricks or some form of tiles. So these can be larger or smaller and that's presented in the same setup so you can see them in a different kind of shape or a different size. In the case of Unreal Engine there is a really simple and easy way how you can scale these textures and make them different and make their size different. I'm going to show you how you can do precisely that. First of all we're going to create a new material instance that will make by right clicking and choosing material. Let's call it tiles. And right now this material, we can open it up by double clicking, is empty. Let me dock it right here. First we, we need to do is to actually choose a base color or the texture that we want to apply to this material. So anything we do that, the way to do that is to right click and choose texture sample. And here it is. Right here we need to get to the sample that we want to use and then employ it right here. My idea is to use a texture from the starter content called brick stone, brick cut stone. So I'm going to find it. You can choose it right here. As you can see, material expression texture base texture cut stone. Ah, uh, here it is. And now it needs a second or two to update it. And we need to co connect RGB to the base color. Now this texture is ready, or more precisely this material. We need to save it and we can apply it to the game world and the object I'm looking to skin, so to say. Right now it's saving and it's going to finish quickly enough. And as you can see here it is. There are tiles and they will be more visible when I place them on this cube. And here it is. As you can see, it looks like it's made from huge granite blocks. And let's say that we want to change these and make them smaller. There's a really simple node that you add to your material instance that does that for you. And that node is basically texture coordinates. Here it is, it's shortened to text chord and here we have these two parameters that we can change and modify to get a different scale. These are U-tiling and V-tiling. First of all we need to connect text, texture coordinate, text chord to the UVs here and right now it's just like it was initially. However, we can change this to let's say 8 by 8. Now the same blocks will be a lot smaller as you'll see pretty soon and these will be immediately visible in the game world as well because the editor will update the present instances in your level. Here it is as you can see the blocks are a lot smaller and here it is it looks really differently even though it's the same texture the same material this node really easily and really simply changes that dynamic we can even make it so it's not the same it's not same number by same number we can say for example 20 by 8 and again we need to save now the same texture will apply these changes and present them in the game world again through this different 
type of scaling that will be visible. And here it is. So you saw it. This process is really simple, really straightforward. It uses simply this node and its U-tiling and V-tiling parameters. With it, you can change or modify any texture that has this kind of a pattern. So hopefully you found this video useful, hopefully you can apply it in your projects. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Let me know if you have any questions or dilemmas in the comment section below. There is a bunch of ways you can support this channel or are present in the description box below again. If you can pick any of these, I would be really grateful. But the biggest and the easiest one you can do is to simply subscribe to my channel and check out my future videos. Until they come out, thank you so much for watching. My name is Ivica and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. Bye bye.